Today we continue with uh, lesson 10, or tutorial 10, of our Spring Boots uh, Timely application. Um, today we are going to be creating a business service. You already know how the architecture looks like. We have the database, we have the repository on top. On top of the repository, we have the service. Business service is also called the service layer, is also called data access layer or data access object. Some, some call it in that way. But it's called, I call it business service. So to do that, I'm going to create a class in the services package. So just go click on new class. And this class, you are going to put it, we call it student service. It's also best practice to give the class names, uh, the, the, the repository, the interface, the repository, the service, and the controller name should be related to the name uh, of the entity. So we have student service, we have student repository. So the package is going to be the services package, some, some use name like DAO as the name of the package, but I call it services. So we say finish, and this, this uh, class or this student service, I'm going to annotate it with at service annotation, at service annotation. All right, so the next thing we want to do, we want this service to be able to talk to the repository. So if this service wants to go through the repository to the, the database, it's going to get data from the repository and then provide that data upwards to the controller, controller then to the view, which is HTML. So again, if you want, uh, try to look at this architecture and understand uh, exactly what we are doing here. So let's continue. Um, we are talking about the service now. Annotate, annotate the class with add service annotation, which I've done. Auto wire the student repository into the student service. So for the student repository and the student service to communicate, for you to use the repository in the service, we need to create a private member variable in the student service class, and that variable will be of repository type. But we are going to auto wire it in there meaning that we are doing a dependency injection. So we are injecting it into this, the repository into the service as a dependency so that we don't have to be creating several instances every, every time. Try to read up uh, the concept of dependency injection if, you've not, if you don't know what it's all about. So to do that, we simply create private uh, student repository, student repository, and it's going to be auto wired. All right, auto wired in there. So Control Shift O on your keyboard, and it removes all the error and imports all the needed uh, packages. Now I'm going to save and check where we are in this. Yeah, so good. So we've created our repository, we've created our business our service or service layer, and now we are going to move to the controller layer or to the controller. I'd like to thank you for viewing. If you have challenges, let me know feel free to subscribe to my channel as well.